We are joined by the winner of Survivor Australia, Heroes versus Villains, what is Liz. This? Oh my gosh. Thank you for joining us, Liz, taking time out of your day here. And let me just ask, how are you doing? How are you feeling after a wild ride? I mean, thank you for having me to start off with. I am so ecstatic. I'm still in shock. I'm extremely exhausted. I think I had like an hour's sleep last night and I'm really hungover, but we're here and we're happy and it's exciting and I can't wait to chat with you guys. Oh my gosh, Liz, let me just first say, I am so, so happy for you. I'm happy for all of us that we got to see you win just such an amazing game that you played. Um, I just want to know, how did you feel going into like, not before final tribal council, but after the votes had been cast, did you feel confident that you um, got the, what, the votes that you needed? How did you feel? I mean, I felt confident in a few people I definitely didn't think that it would be like a clean sweep that just absolutely shocked me I mean I thought I had three or four I was solid with so until Jonathan actually read out the votes I had no idea and I feel like in Survivor you can never be too comfortable or too sure because stuff's always changing so fast so I just had to wait until Jonathan read my name out <laughs> And let me just say also amazing final tribal council. It was just so beautifully done. Oh, thank you. Hey, Liz, I've dedicated my shirt today to you, Muhammad Ali, because you, you knocked them out. <laughs> now, <laughs> so when you were in a challenge, at what point was it your strategy to continue having that little spike deal turn again and again? Were you just well enjoying yourself? I feel like going into that challenge, I knew that it would work in my favor, obviously being an athlete and I'm quite flexible and mobile. So I knew that the further the spikes went out, the more in pain the others would be. And I felt like I could potentially outlast them in the challenge. So I just wanted them to be suffering as soon as possible because that meant that I had a chance at beating them. Now, got to ask you because I got the shirt on too for you. How satisfying was to knock George out? <laughs> yeah, it was good. I mean, I love George. We're really good friends and he is an ally of mine. Um, but it just had to be done because like oh, yeah. George is George is an incredible player. And if I was sitting at the end of George, I, it, it would have been really, really tough. So I think it was a necessary move for my game. Um, but nonetheless, we played awesome together. We had such a great experience and he was a really great ally. So I don't know if you knew you were this close, Liz, but there's something in Survivor, the perfect game. It is something that's almost impossible to do. I believe it's only been done twice. You were two votes away from playing a completely perfect game. There's just two votes that you received at Tribal Council, which is just crazy to think. Throughout this season, and Haley said it best, Returnees were, or sorry, not returnees, newbies were struggling in the game. You know, women were struggling a little bit. You were the last female in the game. When did it hit you when you were out there on the island? Holy crap, I think I can actually win this thing. Or was it, did it not hit you up until the last minute? Hmm, I think my motto through the whole season was just to take each day as it came. I never really wanted to project too far into the future because. Survivor is just like constantly changing ebbs and flows. You need to be so fluid. So each day as it came, but I think when it got down to the top final five, sorry, I was like, oh shit. Okay. We could be on here. I need to really like think about what I'm doing now because it's the pointy end and I have a shot at winning half a million dollars. And no. let me just say, you also had such an amazing, you know, really well-rounded game. Hot take, you, I mean, you won, you were really great at Survivor. So, you know, obviously, but you were an incredible challenge beast out there. I mean, like, the, you were just, aw was it three or was it four? Four? It was, oh. it was <laughs> all inspiring. Did you have like a favorite challenge? Like, I know this is a silly question, but did you have a favorite challenge that you wanted, like enjoyed it doing? I mean, you can only really enjoy it so much, but uh, did you have one that you loved doing out there? Um, I feel like the one where Shawnee and I won, um, where we were holding our feet up with the, 
thing in our back. I feel like that one was really special because like, A, I got to share it with Shani and we did it together. And also um, the villains at that point hadn't won a single challenge. So it was really special to bring that home to the tribe and it just really lifted everyone's spirits and kind of brought us closer together. So I think that one for me was super special. And then, of course, obviously the last one because it's <laughs> very important. Sell the deal. Now, how did you feel yeah. about the how did you feel about the family visit? I know that's something oh. that we have been able to do due to the pandemic in years. But what did you feel when you when you found out that someone was coming? Oh my God, cried. Like I'm gonna cry again because I was watching it back this morning on my phone because obviously last night there was just so much happening and I felt like I wasn't fully concentrating. And then I cried last night watching it when I saw Daniel and then I cried this morning when I watched it on my phone again. So, no, it was so special because I just feel like, you know, that's just what you need at that point in the game when you're just so broken down and there's that final roadblock in front of you. It just lifts you up and really takes you to that next level to push through to the end. And, you know, when you don't have contact with any of your loved ones, it's really, really hard. Like you don't know what is going on. Like while we were out there, I think the queen died and we were like, what on earth? I didn't even think about that. Wow. My gosh. You just hear that right when you leave the game. (laughs) That's the stuff we don't think about is when you leave, you've been out living on this island or whatever. And they just like, I I could just picture right now. You're like, you finally get back. And Daniel's like, okay, now we need to talk about everything that's been going (laughs) on. No, I literally, I'm like, where have you been? What have you been doing? He's like, oh, I went here, here. I've been to the States. I've been to Paris and I'm like what is happening like I've just been sitting on this beach for bloody two months <laughs> who are you now okay I know like all the fans out there are going to get on to me because they're going to be like no let's talk about our gameplay I want to know once you you know you found out you won what what was the first thing you ate like what was the first thing you wanted to do did you want to skip the food and just take a shower brush your teeth like what was the first feeling once you got out of the game um, so when I got out of the game, by the time I got back to the hotel room we were staying at, we, I ordered literally one dish, every single dish off the menu I ordered. So I literally <laughs> had 20 plates come to the room and they arrived at about 4 a.m. So I had literally a spoon of each and then I just felt so sick because obviously my stomach was so small and my eyes were bigger than my stomach. And then I had a shower and wipe when I wipe myself with a towel it came off like so dirty so I had to like rewash about three times to actually get clean um and then I slept I just literally slept all night because I was just so exhausted like it's just such an emotional and physical roller coaster that once it's done I'm just like oh my god I didn't turn my phone on for two days I was just loving the peace and quiet and the relaxation now you you actually go out there you film on the island Then you come back and you relive everything as it airs each week. What is one thing that you take away that you want to pass on to the new Survivor players coming after you? Wow, great question. Um, I would say, which was kind of my model and theory that I went by, which I would suggest for other players is just be yourself. So like just embrace who you are in the real world and just take that to Survivor and own it. Like I'm sassy, I'm straightforward, I'm blunt and that's just my personality and that's how I played the game. I was upfront, I was honest, I didn't pander to people's feelings and so I feel like don't change for the cameras, don't change for the people around (laughs) you, just own who you are and that is the way that you'll get far in my opinion. Absolutely. And I think, you know, I also just want to say I loved seeing your and Shawnee's relationship from day one. Oh. I think it was Randy who called it be- pre-game. Was I like, did. I we we had a cast like- assessment. Sorry to interrupt. We had oh, a cast ahead. assessment. And I said, when we're going over you and Shawnee, I said, I don't know what it is. These two are going to hit it off and have a sisterhood of all sisterhoods. It's going to be the survivor uh, sisterhood. Yes, yes, yes. So sorry, Tech, but take it back. Sorry. Well, I just wanted to say I loved seeing y'all's relationship out there. And like, it just was so beautifully genuine um, and just so beautifully like true to each other. How did that help you? How did that hurt you in the game? Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, so I, I never thought going on Survivor that I would make such a genuine connection with someone like Shawnee and I were literally like sisters. Like we're so similar in so many ways. It was, it was almost like made to be that we were there together because 
a benefit of that was she was my rock. She was my person. She was that person I had out there that I felt like I could 100% trust and be honest with and actually, you know, put the game aside and just be real. Whereas I feel like when you're out there, it's really difficult to have those genuine relationships with people. Hmm. Abraham, go ahead. Take away. Yeah. So, you know, playing, you get a chance to be out on the island. You meet a lot of people. We know Shawnee was the one you on the screen you you really connected with we know in your real life you connected with one other person that wasn't somebody you knew before coming on the show that you really connected with george which is really fascinating to me because when we first rocked up on the beach i was like wow this guy seems like a lot i don't know if my um <laughs> social battery can handle this guy but we hit it off and we formed a really great friendship and we're still super close now um and what better two people to form an alliance with, right? George and Shawnee, they're just like incredible players. Yeah. And I feel so lucky that I made genuine connections. I was in an alliance with them and I learned so much from them that benefited my game. So I want to take you back to a moment. Uh, I'm going to be a little negative Nancy here because we all think you're amazing and played a perfect game. That's just how we feel. But I That's will say there was just a <laughs> hiccup when you and Jordy had two idols heading into tribal council and neither one was played ending in Jordan or Jordy, sorry, elimination. Can you just walk us through that small little hiccup rest of the game? Perfect. Can you just walk us through that moment and what was going on? Cause it looked like you guys were going to flip the tables on everybody. Yeah, that was a really brutal tribal council. Um, after the discussions I'd had on the beach before that tribal with everyone, I felt quite confident that I was safe because there was a lot of conversations going around about keeping the girls and, like, it's turning into a sausage fest, like, we want to be women strong. And so I felt like reading the room and the way that the conversations were going at tribal was that I didn't need to play my idol, so I wanted to hold it. Whereas Geordie, like, I kept looking back at him and I was like, dude, you need to play your idol. Like, they are coming for you. And he... I don't know if he was just really confident in his game or maybe it was a little bit of ego or maybe, you know, testing the waters and risking it. Um, but unfortunately he left and I was just so shocked he didn't play his idol. Like I couldn't believe it because it could have just completely changed the game. But oh, then yeah. in saying that, I might not be here. So <laughs> did you did, remind me, did you play your idol that night? Because didn't you have an idol as well? No, no. I kept it. I kept it and then I kind of used it as like leverage because everyone knew I had it. So they were like, oh, well, we're not just not going to bother getting rid of her right now. Mm. You played it for Shawnee, right? Yeah. And then I played it for Shawnee and sent David home. Oh, that was I a did. great tribal council. That was a great. See, it council. all works out in the end. It all works Absolutely. out. It does. End. Absolutely. Um, well, I just wanted to say, you know, I, like I said, many, many times, I think you've had such an amazing season. I think you were so amazing on the, the on the television screen. What was it like to watch that back? Like, oh, you know, what was it like to kind of experience all of everything that you said, everything, everything, everybody else said, what was that like mm. especially with your friends and family? Knowing you've won. Yeah. Well, I only found out I won yesterday, so I literally did not know this whole time. Yeah, so watching it back was pretty wild because it's like reliving it again, but through a different perspective in a way, like hearing all those conversations that you weren't privy to is quite fascinating. And then like seeing some of your mates say things behind your back, I'm like, oh, do I <laughs> like you in the real world? Or like, how do I feel about you right now? But it's all good. It's all game. So I really enjoyed watching it back, but I'm just exhausted. Like it's so emotionally draining watching it back because you're just like so invested in it. And I just need to sleep for like a month. <laughs> <laughs> you deserved well, you it. You deserve it. <laughs> Abraham, you're up. Well, you know what? Like I said, enjoyed watching you out there play, enjoyed seeing your game develop. I mean, we don't have a lot of players. You'd be like, you know what? If I go back, I want to play against them. I would love to come back and play against you because I know we're going to have some fun. And I I'm pretty sure I could beat you on the challenge. I might be 10 days. Oh, hard, no, I am but... putting my life savings. Look, I, I'm going to come out there, whatever. So <laughs> if, if, if you had something or someone that you could bring back with you, who would it be? From this season, who would you bring back? 
Oh. Oh, wow. For another season? I, I need somebody who got put out before before merge. Somebody before mm-hmm. merge. Before merge? Yeah. Somebody didn't get a chance. They just got voted out. To not be rude, but <laughs> I don't think there's anyone pre-merge that I would take with me again. <laughs> I was going to say, I was like, Abraham, you asked this complex question. She just partied all night. She told you she needs sleep. There's no I way she's going to remember these people. We, we partied at our Survivor Finals. So we, we got up the next morning. Next oh. We had questions. <laughs> so, well, yeah. Liz, before we let you go here, there's a question that we, it's kind of like two questions that we wrap into one that we always love to ask on the show b- before we let the castaways get off. And that is, what did you take away from this experience as a whole? Because something that casual fans don't look at is, yes, you provided months worth of entertainment for us, but you guys are real people that take real experiences away from this game. And it lasts, this experience as a whole will last with you throughout your entire life. Um, So I'm interested to hear what you're going to take away from this. And also, would you play again? I know right now you're like, no. But maybe, maybe in a, a year's time or a few years' time, would you go back out there? Um. So first question, I'll say, wait, I'll go second question first. Um. Yes, I would. I just need a little bit of time to uh, decompress and I just sit in this moment. <laughs> and maybe in a year or two, if I'm blessed to come back, I'd love to. I reckon it'd be nice to do an Australia versus America season. What it do we think about be. that? Yes. Yes, please. Yes, I mean, please. let's Tomorrow, talk it into it. <laughs> yeah. Make it happen and I'll be there. Um, <laughs> the other question, what did I take away? I think um, I am quite introverted in the real world away from my friends so I think going into a game like Survivor I had to really come out of my shell so I've really grown in confidence um in self-belief by pushing my body and my mind and achieving all the things that I did so walking away from this whole experience I just feel like a more wholesome human and I just feel really empowered by the whole thing and money aside just the whole journey and experience has changed my life so it was just a real blessing. Absolutely love that answer. And I'll tell you what I took away because Shawnee told us how you guys kind of formed that alliance. It's day one. She had her mascara running and you said, girl, I got you. You're good. You're good. So <laughs> just know that for all the girls out there, I mean, I think Liz is the best girlfriend you can have. Period. Aww, day one, she's already thank open. But Liz, thank you so much for taking time out of your day. And celebrating your win with us because you deserve it. The official winner of Survivor Australia, Heroes versus Villains. And you have an open invitation to come on the show if you ever want to come back and chat Survivor with us. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. Congratulations, Liz. Liz. Have a great night, Liz. Bye. Bye.